Let's make some barbecue. Welcome back to the channel everybody. And today I felt like doing some pulled beef because I found this uh, beautiful meat at Costco the other day. It is the bottom blade pot roast. It's boneless. It's pot roast for a reason because this is from the, the front area of the, of the cow. It's tough, but tough pieces have lots of flavor and that's what you want, but they take a long time to cook and that's where the smoker comes in. Let's get started. We're just gonna jump right in. Uh, gonna take it out of the package. You there. They do put string on it because you can, or they wanna try and keep it together, which we don't care about today. So yeah, it's, well that's why, because it's gonna fall apart, but that's okay, because we're making pulled beef. Which, this is actually good because the more surface area you have, that's where more smoke is gonna get on, and that's gonna give us more flavor. So, it's working out perfectly. Now I'm just gonna use my normal rub, salt, pepper, garlic, and ancho. We're gonna very liberally cover everything because we want all that flavor. And this guy. You know, doing pulled beef or pulled pork is simple. I shouldn't say simple, it's easy and it's fun. And that is all the prep we're doing and to the smoker. You guys ready? Just gonna put it on the top rack here. We are gonna keep him on the hotter side because these are big pieces and they can handle it. And this guy right there. That's, that's all we're doing. And uh, now to get it cooking. You know, there are so many different ways to do pulled beef, pulled pork. This is just one way that I have found. So just continue with me on this journey. The smoker's at 250 right now, so I'm gonna keep it between 225 and 250. That's where I like to keep it. We're gonna come back after three hours. Should be enough, we'll play that by ear. And then uh, on to the next step. Okay everybody, we're just over three hours and let's take the first look. I like that. That looks great. I think we're gonna wrap it now. Hang on. So now at this point, technically you could just wrap it in aluminum foil, put it back. I like using the dish because I add a little bit of liquid to add extra flavor to the whole experience of this pulled beef. And here we go. I'm using a, a local beer. I just think it goes well with it. You can, at this point, you could use red wine if you want it as well or something else. We don't need a lot of liquid, but we need some because we want to keep that moisture in there and help that keep that meat moist and not dry out. I think this goes well with it. We're just going to use a shot. That's all. Ooh, maybe a big shot. That just adds to the overall flavor. I am gonna add a little bit of water. And one more thing I love to add, butter. Because this just adds so much. A couple nice knobs like that. That's all we need. And then just uh, some aluminum foil. Make a nice tight cover on it. And then back in the smoker. And 
mind if it wasn't so windy. So I'm gonna do a nice tight crimp. Keep all that liquid in there. Gonna put it back and you know give it another two and a half, three hours, and then we'll be back for the reveal. And there again, people, it is raining. It's been raining all afternoon. So we will be finishing the video inside for you today. Finally got done. It was in there for another three and a half, just almost three and a half hours. And as you can see, I've changed because I got caught out in that rain. Downpour, crazy. So uh, let's just dive right in. Nice and hot, so I gotta just be careful. See that steam, nice and hot, so just be careful. So I'm gonna just take it out of the dish just to show you, cause it's hard to show you this way. If I can get it out. See this, beautiful, and oh, 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 look at that. That is beautiful, that is exactly what we want. Look at that, how it just shreds up. That's exactly what I wanted. Beautiful, nice bark on there. Mmm, that tastes fantastic. Mmm, gonna do though, is take some of this beautiful sauce. And try some with all the, that beautiful liquid. Mmm, that's so good. You can see we've got nice beautiful bark. This just falls apart. Look at that. Oh, so good. I am super happy how this turned out. Like always, it's fantastic. Now, you can eat this with whatever you want. Just go get some nice buns, throw it on that or have like a full spread of salads or whatever you want. But yeah, I see a lot of great lunches in my future. Fantastic, looks great, tastes great. You know, you really don't, you really don't get the beer flavor, but it just, when everything's together, the beer, the little bit of bourbon, the butter, all, when it goes all together, makes a fantastic addition to the whole pulled beef well everybody thanks for watching uh i love doing these i hope you had fun with this learn something go and try it it's beautiful you're gonna have lots of people loving it and now i'm gonna go eat off camera guys thanks for watching and uh like always happy eating